It's not easy out there. People are always saying you can't, that you shouldn't, that you're not smart enough, not good enough. This world, it, it beats you up again and again until eventually, most people, they just, they just stop trying. But you're not like that. You're a fighter. You always have been. Everybody in your life will have a turn back moment. No matter who you are, you're going to have such a period in your life where it seems like it's not working. You're going to have doubts. You're going to have a lot of trials and tribulations and challenges. You always have a moment in your life where the direction you're going, you will have to make a decision to keep going or you turn back. The sad thing is, the average person turns back. It's hard living. Life is hard. Life is not easy at all. There's gonna be challenges. You're gonna get beat down. And that tough situation is making you wanna stop. And you will fail sometimes, and that's okay. That's okay as long as you get back up Take that next step, keep moving forward. And no matter what, do not quit. I don't care how low you are. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have experienced. I don't care how devastated your life might appear to be. The shambles it might be in. Wherever you are in life, ladies and gentlemen, you've got comeback power. There's a power in you that can enable you to be stronger and better than anything that's out here. Once you begin to know who you are, once you discover this power, the perfect essence of who you are, that's in all of us, that's permeating our being, that enable us to be the directors of our lives, it will set you free from believing, I can't see myself doing any better, that you truly can live a healthy, happy, prosperous life, and that you can make it in what are called the worst of times. Tough times never last, but tough people do. And you are tough. You're made of some special stuff. There was nobody here before you. You brought something here that was not here before you showed up. Guess what? Nobody's gonna do your work for you. Nobody's gonna write your book for you. That has been given to you today. You want your stuff? It's necessary you take responsibility for it, that you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, that you realize that's a part of the program. And here's something you've got to resolve. Say this to yourself every day. Not over till I win. Not over till I get through. Not over till I get over. Not over till I get what I want. That's how you got to do that. You've got to have that kind of courage, that type of determination. If you want to make it happen, it's you. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are. I don't care how much you work on yourself. There are some times when things aren't going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. Life happens. The unexpected the uncalled for, the unintentional. We've been damaged emotionally, damaged spiritually. It may be your business. It may be your heart that is broken today. It may be the number in your bank account that is screaming, you are broke. You can break physically, you can break mentally, you can break your heart, you can break your spirit. And all of those are going to leave a mark. But the mark that they leave can be the mark of victory or can be the mark of defeat. It is staying with the breaking that produces the blessing. It is not what you go through that determines where you end up. It's who you listen to. Because I think right now you are walking through a valley between two voices. One is wisdom, one is worry. One is gratitude, one is grumbling. 
One is blame, one is faith. Because every time you break, and in every way that you break, wow, it's a chance for you to give up and for you to fall apart. But there's also opportunity to get stronger and get smarter and get faster and get tougher and get more stable and get more resilient and get better. What I need you to do is I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know you're strong enough to do it because you're human. And every human has what it takes to get past whatever they're going through if they decide to push through it. Push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. The fight isn't over. The fight is just beginning. You have the opportunity to show the world what you are really made of. I need you to look at that sickness that's going on in your life right now, whatever it is. I want you to say, I can beat it. I can beat it. I will beat it. I must. I got a family to live for. I ain't through yet. My life ain't over yet. There's some things in life you don't need no degree for. You don't need no money for. You don't need no support for. There's something in life you just gonna get through when you tell yourself, I'm gonna get through this. Regardless of what happens to you in life, regardless of the adversity, regardless of the opposition, regardless of the trial and tribulation, nothing can stop you. The only thing that can stop you is you. No situation, no circumstance, no piece of adversity can define your life. Never let a circumstance define you. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care if you say we outnumbered. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. We don't run. We gonna stand and we gonna live and we gonna die by what we stand for and everybody gonna know what we represent and what we're a part of. I got staying power. I got staying power. Be encouraged today that no matter what you walk through, no matter how broken your marriage is, no matter how many times you fail, there is within you a spirit that is greater than whatever is going on around you. If you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through it. If you are willing to fight your way through that singing career, fight your way through boxing, fight your way through football, I'm telling you at the end of the fight is going to come victory. And as you crawl up and out of that dismal and wretched place as you rise above what you were and as you take the form of who you are supposed to be you will see that in the very act of standing up in the very act of fighting on you will become and you will remain unbroken